Um, just as it's described, we're a spin-off company of a defense contractor in Rockville, Maryland, Intelligent Automation. Uh, we were established in July. Our principal focus is to um, address issues that network security professionals have because they're dissatisfied with the exposure of their networks. The, the story really starts even prior to 2008. If, um, if you go back, it could even go far as back as 2002. There's been rigorous research into moving target defense. Um, that research really got to a whole new level in 2008. And it's been known for many years that moving target defense was a better approach to protect a network. In 2010, our chief technology officer, Dr. Justin Yakoski, started to get research grants from the federal government to advance this research as it relates to cybersecurity. And then in 2015, the company was spun off from intelligent automation. We transferred the IP, the key personnel, and we filed for patent protection for key claims related to these technologies. The specific technologies are around moving target defense and our implementation of it, which is an advanced approach, and fine-grained segmentation. The unique nature of what I'm talking about today isn't just the fact that we're using those two technologies, it's that we're using them together. So in one sense, we're creating a self-shielding network for an enterprise, in another sense, we're containing that shield even if you made a mistake and downloaded malware. The challenges are quite interesting right now. Um, if you look at the first quote, it's from Cisco's mid-year 2015 report. Innovation isn't really catching up with malicious attackers. Their technology is actually going beyond what new innovation is creating. We're dealing with historically a network that was designed 30 years ago. Not much has changed. There's been a few additions to the technology that was designed for the Defense Department. Reconnaissance has gotten so much more sophisticated. We heard this morning about phishing attacks. Um, the phishing attacks have become beyond what the normal person can recognize. We, we're looking at um, social engineering. People are investigating social media accounts. They're looking through open source data to find information about your companies that you have no ideas in the open source environment. And the result is that these individuals know your networks better than you do. And that's what enables reconnaissance, is that knowledge. And finally, we had someone else quote M-Trends from Mandiant. M-Trends in 2016 published that the average time to isolate and locate malware is 146 days. So we have a combination of old, old network architecture, very sophisticated reconnaissance, and malware sitting in your network for at least 146 days. This is a problem. So what are we? You know, what is kryptonite? Kryptonite MTD, or moving target defense, is an appliance the appliance sits adjacent to a network switch. Doesn't run on any individual computer. Doesn't run on hosts. It's device and architecturally independent and sits in, sits in a computer closet. It has advanced software in it and the combination of this advanced technology and the appliance creates a shield that defends your network so that the attacker cannot do reconnaissance, which is key. The difference is we combine moving target defense technology, fine-grained micro-segmentation, create this shield, and the shield isn't just from the outside. It isn't just from the attacker trying to penetrate the exterior walls of your enterprise, it's from the inside. So you make the mistake. You download malware. The malware is stuck. It cannot go laterally inside your network. And even if it wasn't discovered for 146 days, it's not going to move and damage the rest of your network. So what kryptonite really is, is it's combination of advanced technologies that create a defense to solve the problem of the faults in existing enterprise networks. We feel it's a smarter and better way to defend your network.